The Eastern Bypass from Kamaki's towards Ruai hosts the Brookside Dairy Company and Peponi Schools on the vast Northlands farm owned by the family of former President Uhuru Kenyatta. However, it turned to appear as a livestock market. Motorists plying the road cost as Nalap as some purchased the cheapest sheep for as low as less than 2,000 Kenya shillings stolen from their farm. Those without private vehicles used motorbikes to carry away flock of sheep and our efforts to unmask their faces both fruits after cat and mouse game on the highway. All this was a result of an invasion by more than a thousand goons who were reportedly ferried to release the land by tens of hired public service vehicles from various parts of the country as far as from Nyahururu. The vandalism comes just days after Kenya Kwanza Ali leaders publicly appeared to go after former President Huru Kenyatta of allegations of funding Azimio demonstrations. Even you, you will pay a price if you continue to instigate violence and bloodshed in this country. Azimio Principal Relo Dinga and Nairobi Senator Edwin Sifuna have since slammed and blamed the looting on the current regime for what they believe is having a personal vendetta against retired head of state Uhuru Kenyatta. At the same time, in the mid-morning, the East Africa Spectra Limited, owned by Odinga, encountered a similar invasion. Wametuma, majambazi, katika shamba ya Uhuru Kenyatta kule madi. Tumeona wale watu ambao wanaingilia mali za watu na wale ambao wanafanya maandamano ya amani. Sisi tumefanya maandamano ya amani, wao wameenda kushambulia shamba ya mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta kule. The guns at Northlands lit fires to clear the land in what they said is having partitioned it to over 3000 of them. Eucalyptus trees were also cut down and those who could make away with them did so. Despite the invasion being reported in various media outlets, security officers were not deployed even as goons sustained their vandalism at the staff quarters up to late in the evening. Our efforts to reach the Kiambu police commander proved futile on what the police was doing to contain the situation. Questions now arise as to whether the incident was politically instigated and how far the alleged efforts to subdivide the land to the youth will go. Joel Chacha K24 TV, Nairobi.